Okay. Good evening, this is meteorologist Michelle Trotter with a quick weather update. So we do have our channel watch issued for all of our area. This goes until eight o'clock tonight for the county shaded in yellow, which includes Northwest Arkansas, Madison, Carroll, and Franklin County and all of the River Valley, basically uh, LaFleur, Sebastian, Franklin, Crawford, Scott, and Logan County. This all goes until eight o'clock tonight. We did have a tornado warning issued for Scott County. That did expire. What's going to happen, basically what we have to watch out for for the next few hours, those those quick spin-ups, and then they're going to fall down pretty quickly, kind of like that th uh, tornado warning did in Scott County. So it was issued, and then it kind of quickly popped up, kind of ran into low-level wind shear and kind of fell apart. That's what we have to watch out for. Notice the storm just to the south of Fort Smith is the storm we're talking about. We'll look at it a little later. But northwest Arkansas, you can see, just seeing some rain showers. We have no tornado warnings, no severe thunderstorm warnings at this time, just the tornado watch that goes until 8 o'clock. So right now, the main concern is just the heavier downpours, lightning and thunder. But in the next few hours, these could turn strong or even severe as they move into an environment that's pretty uh, capable of turning a strong or severe storm. So what we had, the tornado warning issued, was this little storm right here, the little supercell pushing across uh, Waldron at this hour. You can see it's very disorganized, and that's why the tornado warning has been issued or has been expired for Scott County. Big mass basically across our area and also across central eastern Oklahoma. A lot of downpours happening. Most of the stronger storms right now are north of our area, um, but those little discrete cells is what we have to watch out for. The Storm Prediction Center has now upgraded parts of our area to a level three out of five risk, which means we're under a moderate risk. And if any storm does turn strong or severe, I really think it'll be in this area where, where there's a level three. So central part of Arkansas, uh, Logan, Scott, and Johnson County, why the River Valley is under a level two. If a storm does turn to strong or severe, the main threat will just be some high winds up to about 65 miles per hour, which could be damaging at times. And then the second threat would just be some large hail up to about quarter size, maybe some golf ball size hail mixed in with that. Tornado's risk is not zero, but it is pretty low at this time. So something to keep an eye out for would be large hail and gusty winds, heavier downpours, and then the hourly forecast in the next few hours. Right now, the rain is pretty much scattered and then Throughout the next few hours, the rain will start to pick up in coverage, get pretty widespread. And that's all going to end probably around midnight for your morning commute as well for tomorrow. Kind of going through the future cast, it goes pretty fast. Let's see if we can go back one more. So you're going to see a line develop off to our west. If this graph, there we go. So this is going to develop off to our west, kind of that little line right there. That's going to happen around dinner time. And that's what we have to watch out for those strong to severe storms to happen. All of it pushing out by Monday afternoon. Temperatture is pretty cold tomorrow in the 30s and 40s thanks to that cold front. And then there you have your uh, tornado warning issued for our area. So we'll keep you updated here on 5 News with Facebook, online, on air. Uh, we will keep you updated here on 5 News. Just stick with us.